All right, we got a shot here. Let's check this out. Oh, took it hard. It's a cool robot. Dun, dun. All right. First thought is, what are those robots? Those are cool. I love the heads too. Of course, I want to ask you, what is, is this all in Maya? Or is this Blender? And if it's Maya, what is that rig? I love it. So watching this, there are a couple of things that I was, I thought was really cool. Sometimes timing may be a bit fast, but sometimes also a bit confused. And I think there's a general feeling of the camera being too low. Even here, if you look at, if that's the very crappily drawn half, there you go. Already pretty low, more on the lower side. And then even here, we are low. We are again fairly centered, staying pretty centered. Gets a bit better right through there, but then we're still kind of low, as if as if we're low looking up, but then giving us so much room. We're always expecting something to come in. And then especially here, middle, 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 really low. Like I'm waiting for like choppers or jets or something in the background. So if I would, this is going to mess up some of the, the framing here, but if I would bring this, hold on, I'm trying to grab my frame. There you go. So if we have, just trying something here, I know this is going to be a bit odd. But, and some stuff will be misframed. But if it's like that, and we're a bit more in the upper third, even here we're low and centered again. But I think that, it's like something like that to me, framing wise, feels just a bit more comfortable than what we have here. That would be the first bigger comment in terms of um, just compositionally what's going on. Then shot wise, let me bring this up a tiny bit. So we have, he does move to the left fairly quickly. It's okay. It just feels also a bit center right heavy with nothing going on here. And it's almost to me like you want to have that character bit three quarter here. Again, I generally, this is like a, a rough starting point. You can always compose things differently, but having things in, in thirds helps in terms of the composition and the balance. So to me, if that guy is more three quarter running towards him, could have a nice right left dynamic there. And also kind of free up the silhouette a little bit. It's already a bit crowded and then we go straight into an overlap where we kind of miss things. And then watch out. The shot starts with a bunch of stuff and it's a big, I would say confusing. Like I know what's going on, but if you want to be super clear, I'll be careful because we have, imagine this is a different shot, right? We're ending and then we're cutting into a new shot. Like by now, I'm like, oh, okay, I get what's going on. And then I'm going to be confused about this, more about that later. But it starts with, I have to register right away. This is a guy running or is this a robot? It's like, okay, it's a robot. Cool. Okay. But then it's so from behind and not three quarter that we're missing some of the silhouette aspects where this gets a bit muddy. A bit muddy there and then whoa now we're overlapping like what is going on at the same time while i'm trying to register this i'm seeing a turtle that jumps back so, okay wait why is the turtle jumping back and then i'm seeing this here that comes from different angles meaning that this comes from up here this comes from a bit higher this comes from the middle like what is shooting here i'm, I'm fairly confused and then as it continues, we never really get a resolution as to what was that. So you start off with one, two, three things right away that you need to understand where it's not super clean and clear. Then while this is happening, this took me a while and I, I needed to step frame through it. When I was watching for the first time, I saw this guy running and then ah, suddenly falling down. It's like, what was that? Is that like a manhole? Is there something in the, in the street? There was the hole. Did he just fall in? Like, what happened here? And then watching this and framing through this, I'm going, wait, what? What's that? Oh, okay. There's something. Oh, wait, that looks like a weapon. Wait, that's his. And then I frame through back. 
and only then did I realize what happened. So the, the a couple of tricky things. As he goes back, it's never really clear that he grabs it. He suddenly has it here. That's probably the cleanest frame that you have, but even this seems a bit busy. Is this a double thing? What is going on? I don't know what, what that is. Do you have two or is that a multiple? I'm not quite sure what is going on there. But this will, this is your chance to be as clean as you can because the next one we're overlapping with this again. So silhouette wise, we just have this and then you have a bit of a tangent with that building there. And that's, that's the only time we kind of see the weapon. So again, if you go by thirds and imagine we had on this frame, turtle would be down here shell body arm silhouetted weapon robot that would be cleaner but also if you shoot something this strongly and again this is the confusing part but there's so much going on you already have weapon weapon so i would wait with multiples and what's going on there's some stuff going on still here and if you have something this strongly from the side the head wouldn't continue on that next frame that head will be pow, over there and not back because it's maybe it's the lens but it's so flattened that i'm not getting that this guy is way in front of this guy to cause a backwards move to me this would be sideways which would also help because if anything is flat to camera and you're rotating forward or backwards we don't really see a change in the line of action but if you have this guy going to the side by now the body could be over the head would be over you know, arms up, and it's 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 a rotation this way. That would be cleaner. Also, watch out. It's a bit strong in that in that drag there. A bit floppy. After that, the jump itself is cool. Also comes a bit out of nowhere. I think he's kind of leaning back, and then suddenly it feels like there are strings, like a stump person being pulled up. Versus you doing this and then moving down to compress, squash, anticipate, full extension, jump up. So I will have it down and up. The timing though of going back and landing is cool. I don't mind that. And going straight into this. I think given that he's immediately fighting, I'm not sure that he needs to check. I think it would be cool to be here, here, next frame already three quarter this frame almost profile and then we're definitely profile he's already looking at this and not down you mean like there's this thing of we're looking down for too long i would already have the head up so you you show that he's super aware spidey sense almost of what is going on he he knows this guy's done i'm already looking over to the left and looking up like eye contact towards this that's cool i like all of this And then I registered the weapon more here. Maybe it's because of it helps with the color change. This helps all of that. I can probably just bring that building down or tweak it so we don't have tangents and overlaps there. And I do like the that pull down. Oh, that's great. I think from here on could work. It's a bit stroby through there. And I think what happens is that you have that turning. Maybe she um stabilize that a bit sooner because what happens is that you have an angle this way angle this way now we're initiating a turn this way but it's kind of staying put but now it's going the other way and then it's suddenly gone so i would just keep this cleaner in terms of like this like this like this and then like that and then down you mean like we into this this guy coming in Watch out that we're not too, too overlappy. Stuff like that is nice and clean. This one had a bit of an odd, quiet moment of boom. It's like we're, what is he doing? He's pushing him off, up like this, going back. And I feel like there's there's a lot of momentum in him going to the right. And then here he suddenly hits this wall. I 
feels like with so much movement backwards and no leg back there to compensate and stabilize and balance, this is an odd frame where we can see that angle this way, momentum this way. How is he suddenly stopping and moving forward? This is a there's some linear keys in there that keep it a bit sharp. I think if you do something like that and that leg actually goes back so that we are crossed like this, kind of like it is like this, but the, the other way, would be just mechanically just a bit stronger to read. And I think if you're doing this with him and then just kind of rests here, and it doesn't help that he's like the exorcist dead here. This could be the moment of him going, like, like he's being badger, like, come on, come on, what are you doing here? And then imagine him almost yelling, enough! And after making space, he just pumps himself up. It's almost like the Mission Impossible, you know, bicep pump, whatever you want to do here. Where it's like, I don't know if, the, if you have shapes here, I can't remember. Um, but something where this moment of, okay, I, I created space, let me finish this. And then he goes into that. A bit light, it feels a bit light how he grabs him into this. And we're kind of missing what the other arm is doing down here. We suddenly have hands here into that throw. It's almost like you want that hand up here. Here, here, into that. And maybe the hand out here. So we really understand and see that flow. Right now it's kind of wee, and then that's it. I mean, I understand what is going on. It's just, it's just a bit more for clarity. And it might help you to have more buildings here in the back, but then put a hardware fog and just have them hazed out so they're barely visible, but so that we understand what the camera is doing. Once we're here and we're losing this line, let's go back here, right? Any lines like this, here, we're, we don't know what the camera is doing. Is the camera suddenly stopping, reversing, translating? Only now when it comes back, we understand. So it's, it gives a bit of a, an extra floaty feel. But I'm not quite sure. Is that because of the camera? Is that him? That's why it felt so light too. I like the alertness here. That's all cool. He just seems very cross-eyed worried. And even here where I would really push like determination. It's it's very it's very mirrored, it's very symmetrical, but also he's almost worried sad. Kinda of bored. <laughs> Kinda of bored to fight. So this could be a bit of a stronger like I like this just because there's also a diagonal in there. Not bad. Then we're getting a bit too straight straight, which is it's just a bit flat. And I think you can have this a bit more at an angle. And that's kind of that. Yeah, having stuff in the background is going to really help to see what are those camera changes. And depending what, you, I mean, you could also, depending on how violent you want to make this, but if he, you know, if you do the whole thing of, yeah, enough, and, he's like, and this could be the moment of grabbing this, the other hand is here, and then he just rips this guy apart, just kind of pulls the, the, the torso off. So imagine this is now cut off, cables coming out, Leg is here, cables out here, okay, some sparks. Sure. This falls over this way. What else? <laughs> Into the next. That could be kind of cool. Um, but that's kind of that. All right. As always, subjective notes. Feel free to take whatever you need. And that's it for me. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.